A historic day today for the state-of-the-art aircraft carrier that bears the name of former President Gerald R. Ford. The USS Gerald R. Ford's Navigation Bridge and Flight Operations Center was put into place today during a ceremony at the Newport News Shipbuilding in Virginia. 24-Hour News 8 political reporter Rick Alvin went down there for the ceremony and filed this report from the flight deck of the Ford. The ceremony at once is steeped in history, going all the way back to the Roman Empire, when then coins would be placed under the mast of a new ship. On the other hand, this Ford class carrier is all about new innovation. More than 500 tons of welded steel slowly and with precision put into place on the flight deck of the USS Gerald R. Ford. But under that massive island, some significant items placed by the ship's sponsor, Susan Ford Bales. The item that I placed is a piece of sandstone that comes from the U.S. Capitol and the White House quarry. And then on it is the island landing coin, which we had specially made. And then there are five seals. One is the maple leaf for the Navy, the lieutenant commander, the vice president, the Congress, and the presidential. So it's all symbols of what he did. For the first captain of this new class of aircraft carriers, taking the helm will mean an entirely new experience. Yeah, it's a completely new class of ship, and while she'll look like a traditional aircraft carrier to some extent, the island's certainly different. It's smaller and moved aft and has some advanced radars on it. Inside, the skin of the ship is entirely different. Every aspect, every nuance, virtually every system on board the ship is new and different. For the ship's sponsor and the daughter of President and Mrs. Ford, today's ceremony was at once a new experience and an emotional one. You have no idea until you stand down at the bottom and you look up at this massive piece of steel. It is amazing and I'm, I'm proud to be the sponsor of it. And I just wish they were here. When it comes to the construction of this ship, the next significant development will be the christening happening later this year. The ship won't be ready for activity until sometime probably in 2016, but when it is ready, perhaps as many as one plane per hour will fly off of its deck. From the flight deck of the USS Gerald R. Ford in Newport News, Virginia, I'm Rick Albin, 24-Hour News 8.